what's going on YouTube Q back here again with another video for you today's video I'm about to tell you the reasons why you should buy a GR Corolla and it's partially the reasons why I love my GR Corolla so I put a couple thousand miles on here and I'm I know the car at this point now so I'm gonna tell you the things that I actually love about it it's got some things that you might not see from in other aspects of it from like performance reviews but as a daily driver as well this is things you might not experience in the car if you don't own one so here to share that with you so stick tight let's get into it so right now i'm in detroit's eastern market it's basically a big farmer's market next to downtown detroit if you do have a farmer's market in your local area go support the local businesses speaking of supporting local business go shout out my friends who aren't local it's the men of culture race car friends blueprint one le hunter gang nate go check them out on the feature channels but the first reason you should buy one of these is because it's got a mechanical handbrake not the electronic handbrake with the switch but the actual fun stick is what i like to call it You see what this car is capable of with the fun stick so coming around in like rocky areas gravel loose dirt snow wet is going to make for big fun and unfortunately my groceries spilled all over the trunk so i'm out here cleaning that up now but that makes this car to be very fun and not all of its competitors have it my position of this handbrake is excellent great feel beefy does its job no more else needs to be said about it oh crap i need it to park the next thing I want to talk about all the features, safety features, alert systems. Like it's letting me know my window is open when I park, my door is open. It's also got adaptive cruise control, which is shocking in a car like this. So uh, the closest competitor, something similar to this, is a WRX. It doesn't have that until you get to the GT trim. But this has it on the core edition. So this is the lowest trim level of the GR Corolla, and it has adaptive cruise control. So it'll steer for you. It'll slow up, speed down. I haven't used it a whole lot, but it does work and it keeps you in your lane as well. So that's like the tech features in here is pretty good. We also got a heated steering wheel. I love my heated steering wheel. So I'm in Michigan, it's cold. Got heated seats in here as well. So you got all of the features that you would really need. Look at this, another warning, drive safe. And this part is for race car friends. We got an in-system navigation. So it has this native navigation system in here. I've never used it. McDonald's. I found 15 results. The first is McDonald's at Ford Road. Would you like to go to that one? Yes. Calculating route to McDonald's. Starting route guidance. So it works. It looks a little bit choppy when the screen is loading. Well, it's very choppy, but it does its job. I don't know where the data is coming from. Well, I actually do. It's got a telematics module in here, but I don't know if it's subscription based or not, but you got it if you need it. And if your phone doesn't have a signal, hopefully the carrier on the telematic system in here is different from what your phone is so you can find out where you need to go. And then on the compass in here, you can uh, see where your destination is. So it is northwest of me. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. I haven't seen that before with Apple Maps. It also has different customizable screens in the cluster. And this is all digital. It's like, 10 different things you can customize on every side so what i i just got my trip a. this is what i have but it's a lot of information you can put up there but i just keep it on this one my mpgs and my compass which also has the turn by turn navigation when you skip tracks it shows the track information at the bottom if my children are not buckled up it shows me on this side when i first start the car up so that's useful there was also a feature i've only seen it once because i rarely go places where i have the parallel park but it lets me know when traffic is on coming. So when I open my door, it's alerting me like cars are coming. Be careful, don't open the door. So I've never seen that before and it kind of shot, caught me off guard. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Like even though you should check, but it's a good backup to have the electronic nannies. And just on this screen here, like if I'm driving, if I'm going through a school zone, it'll update me. If it sees signs like no U-turns, it'll alert me on here. Like it's, it gives you a lot of information. You can turn that off too. But it's cool just to have as a backup just in case you didn't see. Another reason you should buy a GR Corolla is because this is a true Toyota. And that means a lot to certain people. It doesn't mean that much to me. But for you all, I'll say it. It's a true Toyota. This means Toyota developed this one solely by themselves. There was no partnership. You're going to get all of the Toyota reliability with it. 
and everything that you get with Toyota, like the performance wise, this is just all in-house Toyota with Gaz Gazoo, Gazoo, I'm gonna call them Gazoo Racing. They also have the GR86, which is a partnership with Subaru and the GR Supra, which is a partnership with BMW. And those cars, like the Supra has a BMW, it's basically a, a clone of a BMW. And that's not a bad thing in my book. That's actually a great thing. And they're in line six, but back to the Corolla, or let's talk about the GR86. And that's a partnership with Subaru. So you got the boxer engine in there. And I've said this before in a few times, those Subaru engines, they, uh, they can be prone to some kaboom. So I've seen a lot of people talking about that on the, the newer 2.4 liter with oil consumption and shout out to race car friends. He was sharing the information. There is some kind of oil mod that you need because the oil sloshes around and it gets dry when you're on the track or driving spiritually and the engines go kaboom. I don't know why they wouldn't fix that in a performance car like the WRX could be prone to that as well. So that's a, it's about a $300 mod that you could fix. But this car, you shouldn't have to worry about those types of issues. And I had a Scion FRS and the engine blew up on me. So speaking from experience here, folks, this is the true Toyota. So we shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. And this is the only GR car that only comes with a manual transmission as its only option for a transmission. And it's hinted that there's going to be a GR Prius. Interested to see what that's going to be like. Will it have a manual? I don't know. Who knows? That that's a remain to be seen, but GRERs or not GRERs, GR Prius might be coming soon. GR Prius, be on the lookout for it. This GR Corolla is one of the most confidence inspiring cars that I have ever driven. And that's because of a few things that it does have. Like many things work at hand, but it's mainly because of the all wheel drive system, which you can uh change the torque split from 60-40, 50-50, or 30-70. But when I'm driving this car at the limits, like I never feel afraid because the car never slips. It just sticks and grips. It's very controllable. When you want it to lose control, it's even hard to do it. But losing control in normal driving, that is something that I have never experienced or came close to experiencing. Even in like mild to moderate spirited driving, like this car just is well composed. And when you want it to lose it, it's kind of difficult to do as well. You really got to pull up that handbrake chuck it have all the electronic nannies off and it still wants to grip shout out to the tofer he showed me a modification to where a company came out with an ecu for the all-wheel drive system to where it can get a lot more rear-wheel drive bias so that's something that i'm very interested in and it's only 400 dollars, so i don't know it might be a mod that i can do and just driving around like normally like in my normal commute i can hit corners so hard in this thing and it just feels comfortable doing it have you ever came from a main road doing like 40 miles an hour and just hit a residential street doing the same speed if you have then shame on you this car can do it it can carry all that momentum into a corner and that's because it has a sophisticated all-wheel drive system like this thing it just grips all the time and if you want to make those maneuvers you can go ahead but that's going to suck going to a rear wheel drive car because this car gives me all the confidence in the world to do whatever maneuver I want to. And I feel like I can be safe doing so. And then the all wheel drive partner with the suspension. Like this suspension is pretty stiff. It's not firm by any means. It's, it's a good balance of firmness, but it's more on the firm side. But it's comfortable as a daily driver as well. Like just the way that the car is planted when you make these maneuvers, it just feels so good. And then the seats in here, it makes for a better experience as well because these seats are very supportive. Like the lateral bolstering in here is really good. And these are very comfortable, soft seats. Like I really love these seats. You got nice thigh bolstering as well. They're not really adjustable. This is actually manual seats too. All you can do is like raise it up, raise it down, recline and slide back and forth. It's like six way seats. Why is this person parked next to me out of all this way? But these seats are really good. Then with, with me being in Michigan, this car is all weather capable. So I'm going to see all four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Winter is coming up, so this is about to be a blast to drive. But all-wheel drive is what you want or what I prefer when driving in snow. Because these things are like tanks, especially when you change the tires. And I'm most likely going to change them on here because I got summer tires on here. So I need to drop down to an all season or a winter tire. Still not sure what I want to do yet. Like winter tires would be preferred, but I also want a less grippy tire 
when it's not winter time so I can do some more fun maneuvers. So not sure what I'm gonna do. If you got an all season tire, recommend it. Drop it down in the comments below. So all in all, I think you should buy a GR Corolla because it has a ton of character and that's not gonna show up on the stat sheet. So you got cars like a Miata that people say are really fun to drive. I personally think the GR86 and the Subaru BRZ are some of the most fun cars out there, especially at their price points, but just in general, some of the most fun cars ever. And the stats wouldn't elude you to believe that because the stats are kind of weak sauce because most people are used to seeing tons of horsepower and like all this lateral grip. But the GR Corolla, the stats don't matter. It has the character. And that's something that I really can't translate into words. Like people are asking me why. And it's, it's kind of abstract. It's just a feeling I get when I drive this car is why I recommend it so much. When I say I prefer driving this car over my other one, it's more so a feeling. It's kind of hard to describe in words. Just the way I feel driving it, the connectivity, just the noises that it makes, the swoosh coming from the blow-off valve, the exhaust, how it's three cylinders, and it's kind of deep, and it's a unique sound to it, and it's not too bad. I still want an exhaust on here, though. The shifter is pretty good. It's not the best shifter, but it's a great shifter in there. And just all those inputs that I put into this car just makes for it to be such a great driving vehicle. Just a great package all in all. So it's not the fastest. The 60 doesn't have the most grip, but it is really fun. And the way that the engine comes on, just the characteristics of the engine, it's high revving. So the power comes on at like 4,500 RPM, just revving it out, working for all that power. I personally prefer that just because it's as you get going and going like that's just my preference to having power at the top it's just more fun to drive and then we don't feel like hooning around it's just like a normal corolla at that point when you're around 2000 rpm it's a normal car we don't feel like being fast because other cars that have torque way down low and you're just always fast but this car you got to work to be fast and i actually like that these are the reasons why i love my gr corolla and why i think you should get one as well I highly recommend these, especially if you can find one for MSRP, get one. Like, it goes, it stops, it has all the performance bits. They took one of the not most attractive vehicles, and they made this thing just a all-out enthusiast car, man. Like, I really mean that. I signed my name on it. Shout out to the Prius going by. But this GR Corolla is the real deal. It's a ton of fun for me, and I'm enjoying every moment that I drive. And I, man, that's all I got to say about it. So if you got any questions, let me know. Drop a comment. I'm about to end this video. No longer in Detroit anymore, Toto. So I'm about to be out here. Start hooping. Got the courts way over there. And I'm about to enjoy the rest of my day. So like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Browse the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one.